Hey guys and welcome back. Well, in this uh, quick Maya 2018 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a thread, okay? And you can do it in under five minutes, so here we go. Hey guys, well, we're in uh, Maya 2018 and let's get started, okay? I'm going to go to my for view here. I want to work in my perspective view, so I'm going to hit my space bar while my mouse is hovering over it, like so. And then I'm going to hit the space bar again, go up to create down to polygonal primitives and down to helix there we go this will give our default helix i want to change the settings a little bit so i'm going to hit Control a to open up the attribute editor i'm going to go into poly helix one and i'm going to change the number of coils to six i'll change my radius to 0.1 okay looks much better i don't need those end faces here so i'm going to right click out a face select that and delete and then we're going to go up to the other one select and delete and then i need to get rid of the inside faces so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move in i'm going to click and shift double click and then shift click and shift double click which gives me these two rows i want that one and that one as well so i'm going to hit shift and period or point which will increase my selection by one step and now I can hit four on my keyboard and that will show you that I have half of this selected. Okay. I'm going to hit five to go back and I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. So now that that is gone, uh, we can go in and right click on this edge right here. So select this edge and shift select the one above and go to edit mesh and the bridge. And then I'm going to go up here click on that, shift click on that. And as we are repeating our last command, we're just gonna hit a G on our keyboard. Okay, there we go. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the top edge next to that face. I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to shift double click on the edge next to this face, like so. And then I'm going to shift click on this one at the bottom and shift double click on this one. And then we're gonna go up to edit mesh and bridge, which closes that up, okay? Then we're gonna right click at object mode and I'm gonna go up to mesh and smooth to smooth that out. So this is how you make a thread easily, okay? Now, depending on what you're gonna use this for, if you want to have this in a bottleneck or whatnot, you will have to uh, close those gaps. So how that would uh, look like, I'll just go back one step, is you would have, let's say, we'll do uh, create, and we'll do polygon primitives and a, a cylinder. You would have something like this and just uh, hit the control E to duplicate, something like this down here. And what you would basically be doing is you would match these two up and you would be closing these gaps, okay? Like we did just before from edge to edge. So you have to have an even number of faces, obviously, and that's how that works, okay? All right, so uh, quick and dirty, uh, not dirty, quick. And uh, that's how you do that, okay? Now let's go back and smooth that out. So if you have any questions, as always, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more in the future, please subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.